In this lecture, we will be talking about VPNs. So what is VPN? VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. So you might use VPNs before or heard of them, but VPN actually, how does VPN works? It is an encrypted tunnel that transfers the data between you and your destination. So VPN hides your IP address by letting the networks redirect it through a specially configured remote server run by a VPN host. This means that if you surf online with a VPN, the VPN server becomes the source of your data and lets you see and access websites that are forbidden in your region. This means your internet service provider and other third parties cannot see which websites that you visit or what data that you send and receive online unless they have access to the log file from the VPN provider. Businesses typically use a VPN to give remote employees access to internal applications and data or to create a single shared network between multiple office locations. So in both cases, the ultimate goal is to prevent web traffic, particularly traffic containing proprietary data from being exposed on the open internet or the public internet. So there are several VPNs and I'll include in the resources an article about VPN types. So you can read about them if you want to educate yourself. And I'll show you how to set up a PPTP VPN and open VPN on your Kali Linux. All right, so to set up a VPN on Kali, let's go to Kali and then open your browser and then go to vpnbook.com and I will include the link in the resources. Now to set up a PPTP VPN, just go down, go to, to free VPN first and then go down here, choose the server that you want, choose, um, I'll choose a French one, I'll choose this. So I will, I will copy this and then go up here, Ethernet and then VPN connections, add a VPN connection, and then choose the PPTP. Yeah, there is it, point to point on link. Create, give it a name, PPTP, and the gateway, which it, which it's this. Oh, I forgot the F. And the username, which it's VPN book, VPN book, and then go on the advanced, and then, Make sure to tick the use point to point encryption and then apply and then save. Go back there and connect to your VPN. Give it the password, which it's this R D E D M X. Now we should give us a notification in here telling us, yeah. VPN connection has been successfully established. So to verify, let's go and check the IP. What's my IP address? And in here, as you can see, I'm getting totally new different IP. This is not my IP. This is not my public IP. Now this IP is my source data. I'm not a robot. Boat, boat, boat. So usually free VPNs are too slow, but not all of them. Like for example, v uh, Proton VPN or this Winscribe or CyberGhost, I think. Yeah. So these are not slow. These are good. They have a free plan and they have paid plan. Now this one has free plan. So you can install it on your Linux or your Windows or your Mac or your iPhone or your Android device and they have a paid version of course so you don't have to go with the paid or it's up to you totally up to you but I'm just showing you on this website so I demonstrate how to set up a PPTP VPN and I'll show you now how to set up an open VPN so now we are we're okay so now I verified this so let's close this and let me disconnect from this VPN Okay, now I am disconnected, so I'll show you now the open VPN. Um, let's try let's try this. Save the file, okay. Okay, it has been downloaded. Extract it here. So these are the open OVPN, open VPN profiles. So each of these are totally different, not totally different, but they use the same IP on different ports and protocols. So 
as you can see now here this one uses tcp 80 on port 80 tcp 443 udp 53 and udp 25000 so to run these open a terminal zoom in and become root root of su Kelly. okay now open vpn the tool that we will use to run open vpns then space and then give it the name of, of your open vpn so vpn book tab autocomplete one more tab and now we can see the files in here so um i'll choose this the tcp on port 80. hit enter now give it the username which is vpn book and the password it was what was the password good question yeah there you go there it is R D E D M six C enter. Hopefully it will connect. As I said, because this is a free VPN, so you can't actually rely on it. Okay, there you go. It says now initialization sequence completed. So let's verify that. So as you remember, our last IP started with thirty seven dot. So our first octet was thirty seven. So let's verify this. What's what's my IP? And yeah, now in here, as you can see, I'm totally get, getting a different IP. That one starts with 37. This one starts with 198. So let's try to check out the location. Now, as you can see, now it tells me that I'm from Ohio, United States. Now I'm connected to the internet through this IP, through the server, which it's in the United States. So yeah, and about the others, you just download it and follow the instructions pseudo dpkg. This is by the way how you then just sign up for a free version or whatever you want. And then just follow what it tells you in here and you will have it installed. So you can do it because now I'm running Linux. So that's why it's directly giving me Linux. If I launch this website on a Windows, it's going to show me how to install it for Windows. All right. So this is how you set a VPN on your Linux.